Hi everyone, in this video I will show you a simple free tweak for the messages app of iOS 10 that I have built myself. The tweak is for jailbroken i devices and it's called Contactifier. It is named after the functionality it provides and it makes the use of messages app far more convenient. It provides the user additional information for phone numbers inside message bubbles, for example, if a message that you have sent or received contains a phone number, Contactifier will search for that contact in your address book and will try to come up with the given name and family name of that contact. And if uh, it succeeded, uh, it will append them right after the phone number in the message bubble. This functionality is pretty useful uh, when receiving, for example, messages from the operator uh, telling you that uh, the number that you have tried to contact yesterday and you did not succeed is now back online and you can call him. So without further ado, let me show you a quick demo of the tweak. So here you can see the screen of my, of my phone. I'm inside the messages app. And uh, I have some messages that uh, are containing phone numbers, but uh, presented in that way, I will have a really hard time guessing who's the person behind them. So let's now install uh, the Contactifier tweak from Cydia and see what's the difference. So I'll go in the search tab and type. Okay. Contactifier. Uh, it's hosted on the Big Boss repo, so you don't need to add any additional repo to Cydia in order to find it and install it. So while we are waiting, uh, another thing that I can point out about this tweak is that it works both for uh, uh, text messages and iMessages also. So uh, I am back in my phone and I launch the messages up again, see what's the difference. So here are the same messages, I'm in the same chat room, but right now Contactifier uh, had uh, found, for example, in the first me in the first message bubble, this number, uh, and have searched for it in the contacts, and found and found that uh, I have a contact record, first name last name, which contains this number, and I'll show you that I really have such contact, first name last name, and that's his phone number. That is why uh, his name appeared right after uh, his phone number. And the first message bubble is an example of SMS, and the second is iMessage sent from me back to uh, the other participant. And the original message was I'm out of the office, please contact John if you have some questions, and John's phone number example. However, uh, it's more convenient to have uh, John's name in the, in the back so that I will be sure that actually this is his phone number and I haven't got it wrong uh, sending it to my uh, fellow person. So, that is how the tweak works. It does not alter your messages stored locally in any way. It just shows the way that they are presented to you. And, it ha and it, this happens in real time. So, for example, if I type here again this number and I send it, Contactifier will parse that uh, number and append the contact name and define it. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's pretty much all about the tweak. 
And uh, another thing to point out is that it should also work without problems on iOS 9. And, but it won't work on iOS version below 9 because it uses uh, one framework introduced in iOS 9. So don't try to install it on devices with lower iOS version. It's uh, built bo both for 64-bit devices and 32-bit devices. And uh, if you had some experience in, um, and, if, and if you had some difficulties uh, using it on iOS 9, please uh, feel free to contact me over email, Facebook, or maybe just uh, drop a comment below the video. It will be really helpful for me and I will try to help you and fix that problem for you. And uh, if you are a developer and uh, want and you want just like me to give a uh, jailbreak development a try or you want to just um, leave me some feedback please don't hesitate to contact me I'll put a link into the description to the source code uh, as you can see in the background that's the git repo for the source uh, the project it has a sample project for Xcode in which I've tested the parsing and that's actually the Tails project it's built uh, for mobile substrate with this make system. So yeah, that's it. That's all about the tweak. I hope you find it useful. Uh, thanks for your time and bye.